This is Ryu Palace, Baja, California. It's the newest Ryu property here in Cabo. Now, I just had an amazing time at the Ryu Republica in Putacana, and I can't wait to see how Ryu does things here. This isn't just a Ryu, it's a Ryu Palace, which means there's gonna be a bit more luxury, and this place is adults only. This is Coolest Luxury Hotels, Ryu Palace, Baja, California. So when I arrived here, I immediately was met with a glass of champagne. That is always a classy touch, especially at a Ryu property. I arrived really early. My room wasn't ready yet. So I went to go hang out in the 24 hour gold lounge and I really enjoyed my time in there. It is large, it's clean, it's modern, it's comfortable. And there are so many food options. After eating everything in sight, I needed to get up and move around a little bit. So I went to go check out the Ocean View Bar. That bar is named Daiquiri and it is appropriately named because they have a gigantic list of cool and crazy cocktails. I selected a few from there, they were delicious. And then all of a sudden the bartender there just started making me these crazy off menu drinks. There was a mango tango, there was a Superman and there were double shots of Mexican candy. Mind you, I have not even got to my room yet and the trip is already officially out of control. I finally made it to my room. This is the cheapest room available. It is a junior suite and I really like it. It reminds me a lot of the room at Royalton Barbara of Punta Cana. The showstopper for any Rio room is always the mini bar and specifically the alcohol dispensers. It's the Four Horsemen. It's vodka, gym, tequila, and rum. Unlimited anytime, as much as you want. That is dangerous. This room is fresh and clean, it's modern. If you're looking for a full-blown room tour, check the link in the description below. And so after a really long afternoon, I just wanted something chill for dinner. There's an Asian place, there is an Italian place, there's a steakhouse. I just picked a place called Crystal. I thought it'd be really low key. Well, it's not Crystal, it's Crystal. It's a French place. And when I walked in, my jaw dropped. I could not believe how nice the restaurant was for a Ryu. The decor was gorgeous, it was modern, it was sleek, it felt upscale, and the food was even better. The short rib was unbelievable, it had foie gras on it, and you could cut it with a fork. That's how juicy and succulent it was. What a fantastic way to finish my evening and to start my first day here. Today was out of control. This trip is out of hand. And I haven't even done the best stuff yet. I still have the daytime pool party tomorrow and then the night after that, I have the night swim party. But yeah, the sunset pool was just crazy. It is the smallest pool here um, at Ryu Palace, Baja, California, but it definitely is the biggest in terms of stature, energy, fun, and excitement. The crowd was phenomenal. There was a big board of delicious drinks to choose from. It is an infinity pool, so it overlooks both the beach and the ocean. There was a cruise ship out there docking today. That was so cool. And overall, just the music was awesome, and it is an amazing way to spend an afternoon here. After my pool time ended, I walked over to Pepe's. That is a food stand that is poolside. They have grab and go stuff, you know, like burgers, nachos, hot dogs, burritos, stuff like that. I loaded up a couple plates and then I came up here, ate, took a nap, uh, woke up and I had a proper soak. I spent like 30 minutes in that bathtub. That bathtub is amazing. And that leads me to right now. I definitely drank all my calories today. So I don't think I'm gonna do any type of a dinner. We'll have two sit-down dinners tomorrow night and the night after that. I'm definitely going to check out some more restaurants. But as far as tonight, I think I'm just going to have a low-key chill night. I'm going to head down to like the main entertainment part of this property. There are a couple bars down there. And I'm really curious to see what this property is like at night.
So last night was pretty chill and relaxing, especially for a Ryu and especially for a Ryu in Cabo. So I got down here like at 8.30, 9 p.m. and there weren't a lot of people here. I decided to wait it out. Uh, I just sat down at one of the bars they have here. I had some fantastic cocktails. Ryu was also celebrating their 25th anniversary. They were doing some special stuff to mark that, such as a dedicated bar cart that only served their signature drink, the pink champagne Negroni. People started filling in around 10 p.m. I think that's because dinner was ending. They had a musical act called the Three Divas. They played a lot of fun cover songs and the crowd really seemed to have a good time. Uh, right now I'm headed down to the beach. I'm still hurting from yesterday, which is not good because I still have the best and craziest stuff yet to come. This afternoon I'm headed to the pink pool party. I gotta go check that out. And then tonight I have to sit down and have a proper dinner. Uh, tomorrow is shaping up to possibly be my best day. I'm gonna check out the rest of the Ryu pools here. And then tomorrow night is the night swim neon party. So of the three hotels I've been to thus far in Cabo, this is by far the best beach. It's not even close. The water is stunning. It's that hyperelectric turquoise blue. You got the rock formations in the water, which are mesmerizing to stare at. You have the Ryu Hotel as a backdrop. People are dangling off the infinity edge, partying, having a great time. And there is a dedicated seating area on the beach only for Ryu guests. That is great because it does keep the beach vendors at bay. Overall, by far, of the hotels I've been to on this trip, it's absolutely the best beach. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What was that? What was that? Was that one of the greatest parties of all time? That pool party just went off harder than the majority of Las Vegas pool parties I've been to. And it was an all-inclusive. Ryu knows how to throw a party. The DJ was phenomenal. His set list was fire. He got the crowd insane. The dancers were super cool. They had performers on unicycles. Girls were walking around with giant squirt guns filled with tequila. Disco balls were suspended above the pool and foam would spill everywhere when the DJ would drop his beat. It was outrageous, it was epic. It was a legendary time. It had everything you needed. Getting a drink was surprisingly easy. There was a buffet out there in case you got hungry. There were multiple pools, big screens in the background. Like I said, Rio knows how to throw a party. That just wasn't one of the best experiences I've had in an all-inclusive or one of the best I've had at a hotel, that was one of the best things I've ever experienced during my travels. That party goes off twice a week, and it alone is a reason to come to this Rio. All right, big day today, it's my last day here. Before I get to that, I wanna talk about last night very quickly. The Italian restaurant, I liked it. For a Ryu, the food was surprisingly good. And I keep on using that disclaimer throughout this video, for a Ryu, and that's because Ryu properties really aren't known for their food or their drink. Quite the opposite sometimes, but the food here and the drinks here are shockingly decent. The Italian place last night was a hybrid restaurant. You're gonna find this at a lot of Ryu places where the restaurants are sometimes half and half half buffet and then half a la carte menu. I like that for a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, if you're hungry when you walk in and you don't wanna wait for your food to be delivered, just go right to the buffet. Also, the buffet gives you an opportunity to sample a lot of different types of food. And if you don't like anything on the menu, the buffet has more than enough options to get you full. Uh, conversely, if you maybe want something more fresh or if you want a traditional plate or two that's made especially for you, you can order off the menu or you can do what I did and do both. I ordered the veal last night, and for a Ryu, it was surprisingly good. Okay, big day today. I'm headed down to the other pools right now. I'm gonna show you those. Tonight, I'm thinking Japanese for dinner. And then to finish my trip, to put an exclamation point on this day, I'm headed to another pool party. It's at the same place as yesterday, but this one is a neon party, and it's at night.
great day at the pools today. I had a lot of fun. My favorite pool by far is the pool I went to on the first day, the Sunset Pool, but there are a couple other notable pools here as well. Uh, the first one is the Infinity Pool. That Infinity Edge seemed to go on forever. There is so much space, easy to find a spot, hang over the edge and take in the sights and sounds of the Cabo Beach and Ocean. And then the other pool is called the Tropicana Pool and it's all the way in the back. And typically that is a pool I would avoid, but it had surprisingly awesome sun action. It also had a swim up bar and it was like the chill, peaceful version of the Sunset Swim Up Bar. So if you want something that's a bit more low key, uh, just a place to unwind, that was a fantastic spot and that is what I did. That brings me to right now, it's my last night here. I wanna go check out the Asian Japanese place for dinner. And then tonight, I wanna go check out that neon pool party. That was dinner at the Japanese place. Uh, I can't remember the name. It doesn't matter what the name is because it wasn't that good. I would say average at best, and that is being very respectful. Definitely my least impressive meal since I've been here. Uh, it doesn't matter though, whatever. That wasn't the highlight of tonight. The highlight of tonight is the neon party. I'm going to let the sun set, and then I'm headed over there. Okay, so I need to get out of here before I overdose. Overdose on fun, because that is what is about to happen. Last night was pretty incredible. I would have thought I was in Scottsdale, San Diego, or even Las Vegas. It was that cool of an experience, but I wasn't. I was at a hotel, let alone an all-inclusive. This place is crazy. All right, I'm gonna wrap things up. The first part of my video is me having the best time ever. I try to focus on the positives and give you an immersive experience. The second half, this half, is where I talk about some negatives, talk about some positives, and give it to you straight as far as what I think about the property. Uh, let's start with the negatives. Let's get those out of the way. I'm thinking three L's. Number one, luxury. Now, I've said this ad nauseum. I know you're sick of hearing it. For a Ryu, it's pretty luxurious. But overall, compared to other upper-end properties, especially in the area, uh, it does lack a little bit in elegance and refinement. Number two, loud. This place is loud. And remember, the pool parties aren't even on this property. They're at the property next door. Even without that, though, this place is loud. The crowd is loud. The hallways are loud. This is a boisterous property. Uh, number three, I'm forcing this one a little bit. I'm gonna be forthright about that. It's not that big of a deal to me. It's not that big of a deal overall, but it could be for some and that is location. Now, it is a couple miles away from the heart of the city, Cabo San Lucas, but it's absolutely an Uber or a taxi every single time. It's not walkable. And if you do like very quick and easy access to the marina, Squid Row, or basically all the electric parts of the city, you're definitely gonna have to jump in a cab or an Uber. You're not gonna be able to walk it. So those are the negatives. We got those out of the way. What about the positives? For the positives, I'm thinking three Fs. Number one with a capital F is fun. This place is wildly fun. It's incredibly fun. It's outrageously fun. Everything is fun. Ryu knows how to have the best time ever. Number two, the second F, uh, the food and the drinks were surprisingly good. I was blown away by the caliber of meal I had at Cristal, considering this is a Ryu property. The Italian dinner was good. The buffet items were satisfactory. Even the lounge food was pretty decent. The drinks were fun and delicious. I like how they had that big board of cocktails posted everywhere throughout the property. The food and drinks at this Ryu were shockingly decent. Number three, the format of this property is pretty much perfect. The pools, the beach, the restaurants are all in one general area. You can ping pong back and forth so easily. Also, this place is adults only and that's important because Ryu does not have to dedicate any space or time to families or children. They can double down, triple down on giving you the best adult and mature experience possible. So with all that being said, how do I rate Ryu Palace, Baja California? I'm gonna give it a five. 
The rooms are crisp and fresh and modern and clean. The crowd is amazingly outgoing and fun. The food is decent, the drinks are creative, and the parties are insane. Sure, it lacks a little bit in luxury, but to me, luxury always takes a backseat to creating memories and having phenomenal experiences. I have paid thousands and thousands of dollars to try to have experiences like this, and you're getting them included in this hotel. If you're looking for one of the best times ever in Cabo San Lucas, or if you're looking for a guaranteed great time at a hotel, think no further and book Ryu Palace, Baja, California.